today I'm sharing with you 10 plus toys that are tiny that are worth money. So the catalyst for this video was my kids were cleaning out their rooms and I was going through the things that they were putting to get rid of and decided that instead of automatically taking to donate or putting in the garage sale pile, I was going to look them up and see if they were worth something. And guess what? Some of them were worth big bucks. As I go along, if you think of some other tiny toys or small toys that we should be looking for that would bring a good profit, leave a comment down below. And you guys always check the comment section because there's so many good ideas that are left there and shared that you can pick up more knowledge from the friends of the channel. First up are Ethel Hicks tiny miniature dollhouse dolls. These can go for a lot of money. Some of them are called angel babies. This one is a miniature Raggedy Ann doll. There's Raggedy Ann, there's Raggedy Andy. So I wanted to really encourage you to look for these. They might be a little harder to find than some of the other ones that I'm sharing, but they're so tiny that it would be easy to just think that they were a nothing item that just wasn't worth anything. So take a look at these, commit them to memory. Ethel Hicks, tiny porcelain dolls. Here's another little Raggedy Ann. And as you can see from the person's finger, it's like this, not even two, three inches tall. It's super tiny. Here's another one that sold for $44. So these are almost like dolls for dollhouse dolls. They're super tiny. And this one sold for $75. Now these, as far as I can tell, are not marked Ethel Hicks, but they are marked AC for angel children. So if you see a little, if you see a little teeny doll, first of all, grab it. And then if it's marked AC, then you know it can be worth some big bucks. Next up are mini Funko Pops. Now, not all of these are worth money, but it's definitely worth checking them out. So this is a Funko mystery of a bounty hunter, Zuckus from Star Wars, that sold for $175. And I wanna point out, if you see ones that I have chosen for this, I try to pick ones that the best offer wasn't taken. And I also tried to choose ones that I saw multiple. So it wasn't just one off, like it was repeatedly sold on there. So this one, $175. Next up, this was a mini one that came with a backpack. This one might be a little bit bigger, but it came with a cool backpack. And I saw a couple others that also had a backpack with it. This sold for $179.90. And then these are Funko Garbage Pail Kids, and these are the minis. So they're not the full, actually I actually have a Funko Pop here. Most of us are familiar with Funko. So like this is the normal size Funko, right? but there are miniature ones that are much smaller. There's some like this, and then I have some that I found recently that are, are Pokemon that are a little bit smaller even that they were in a, an advent calendar. So I have all of those listed as well. So if you see anything like this, then definitely pick them up, even as a lot. This is $115. Basically, if you see something, just check it out. So next are Lego minifigures. These are ones that you can find pretty much anywhere. So it is worth looking them up because there are some that are worth a lot of money. This is from the Lego minifigure uh, mystery packs. This is Maggie and her little teddy bear. This sold for $40. This is from the Hobbit set. And this is Dane Iron Foot minifig that sold for 50. We actually had the Goblin King that sold how much did that sell for? It was like 45 or $50 that the Goblin King sold for. This is a Lego Jabba the Hutt that sold for 50 bucks. And I feel like we have one of these floating around somewhere. My kids love Lego, so we've got a lot to go through. These next few, I did go ahead and pull the multiple listings to show that these are not one-offs. If you find the gold chrome C-3PO, it's worth a lot of money. $741 on that, $750 on this sale, this is Boba Fett from the Cloud City set. And this one, again, I'm gonna show you multiples that this one is selling for a huge amount of money. Over $1,500 for this one, $1,700 there. So this is another really desirable one, Mr. Gold. So he's very shiny, very gold, can't miss him, hopefully. $1,800 on this sale. This one sold for 24, almost $2,500. This one sold for $3,500. So as you can see, Lego minifigs can go for a huge profit. So it is worth looking them up if you find them because there are some, now these are super high profit ones. There are some that sell for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, $15, anywhere in that range. So it's definitely worth checking them out. 
Next up, we're looking at little tykes. These are the little tykes figures. Now, this is a lot of these chunky, the vintage little tykes guys. This is a lot that sold for $99. And I did take uh, choose one that had a best offer on this one, but it was high up there and there were multiples of this style of listing that were selling for a pretty good profit. So if you find a bag full of these, they're definitely worth listing. There are other shapes and sizes of Little Tykes figures. This is a dollhouse family from Little Tykes and these sold for about $60. And then this is a Little Tykes dollhouse family and some of the furniture that sold for $63. And I have had some Little Tykes furniture pieces that have sold that did really well, more like in the $35 range, but I was pretty happy with it because I found them in a bag at the Savers, you know, so for like two or $3, and I flipped them over into 30, 40 bucks. Next up is Littlest Pet Shop. These are ones that are also gonna be a little bit easier to find as well. And I did a video years ago about Littlest Pet Shop and how much money they can bring and how to start identifying them and places to go searching. So I'm gonna make sure I link this here and I'm also gonna link it in the description box down below so you can go check it out. But Littlest Pet Shop, these can go for a lot of money depending on the ones you find. I got the bug when I found a dachshund that I sold for $85. So when I see these and they're in good shape, I definitely pick them up. So this is a little collie dog that sold for $205. This is a little cat that sold for $225. And if you'll notice that in the, in the titles, they'll talk about the color of the eyes. This is something that they, that when you're identifying these, it has to do with the eye color. And you see the kitty cat has a little round, like sun flare, there's different shapes of sun flare. So like it might have like a little sun or a moon or something like that, a snowflake. So those will also determine like the value of the Littlest Pet Shop critter animal. So here we've got a dachshund. This one sold for $280. This was very similar to the one that I sold. So I sold one that was like this, that had blue eyes, and I think it had like a snowflake, little sunspots in their, in their eyes. This is the little parrot that sold for $285. These are some more collies. These sold for $314. Here's another little dachshund. You can see the little tear, they're like little teardrops or little water drops instead of circles in its eyes. Sold for $418. Now, if you see this one, grab it. And I am sharing multiple solds on this to show you that it's not a fluke. This is one that's a Hero Pow Cat Comic Con. Sold for $725 on this listing and $950 on this one. Next, we're gonna talk micro machines. This is a blast from my past, my youth. I remember these commercials like Saturday morning cartoon commercials and the micro machines. Some of these can bring a lot of money. And even if you find a bag of them that aren't like this one that is worth a lot on its own, selling them as a lot can also bring a big profit. So this micro machine semi truck sold for $105. I also included this pin back because it sold for $106 and I like selling stuff like this, pin back, small things that are easy to list, easy to ship, and sometimes get lost in the shuffle that people don't realize this is something that is worth money. So this pin back sold for $106. Then there's the liquid nitrogen truck that sold for $150. This one sold for $147. And then there were a couple of these. If you see this pink tank with the little pink car inside, this one sold for $464, but there were multiple solds of this tank. Next, we're looking at Polly Pockets. These are really small little dolls and they have little, it's almost like little tiny doll houses that are compact. They look like little compacts. Honestly, some of the, they have houses and castles and things too, but some of them look like a little clamshell compact. It opens up, it has little furniture, a little house, whatever, and little teeny tiny dolls that you can play with in there. But they also made these surprise rings. So this is a Polly Pocket surprise ring. This was a best offer taken on this one, but there were others that were in the similar price range of the same Polly Pocket ring. But this is what those compacts look like that I'm telling you about. And they see how they have the little houses as well. So this was a lot that sold for $299. But then this one is a vintage Bluebird Jewel Secrets that sold for $444. Here again is another Party Time Stampers Polly Pocket set that sold for $820. And here's another one that sold for $148. So you can see it's like a little house in there. It comes with a little doll. So if you find these, whether they have the figures or not, and you want to lot them up, or maybe you find a bunch of them, 
check them out individually. If they don't sell individually for a whole lot, then put them in a lot. But as I say, even though these are ones that are selling for a much higher profit, there are some that sell, you know, in the $30, $40 range. It's still a really good profit. So I have a confession to make. I love blind boxes. I don't know what it is about them. I especially love the quirky ones that I find, say, at Kinokuniya, which is a Japanese bookstore, or at H Mart, or places like that, that I can find really quirky, unique ones. There is a brand, or maybe they're a distributor, and they sell lots of different ones. So this is the Vivi Cat, which I was showing this in the beginning. So this is the Vivi Cat, and yeah, so some of these sell for a lot of money. I think this one is maybe going for $15 or $17. But as you can see, some of them are going for much, much higher. But with Pop Mart, there's, like I say, there's different ones. This is my guilty pleasure. I love, these are called Yuki, okay? These are Yuki, and I have lots of Yuki, but they're super fun. Some look, have little, like, beads inside, and these are not gonna be for sale, because I love, I love my Yuki. I don't know what it is about them. They're like little ghosts and Sometimes they have stuff inside and sometimes they're just colorful, like this guy, a little, anyway, you don't need to see my Yuki collection, but just <laughs> suffice it to say, they're worth money. Some of them can be worth money. So this is a Yuki, an amber one that sold for $47. This is another Yuki that's a Seasons Elapsed Yuki. So there's different ones in this series. So that's $138 on that one. And here's a pair that sold for $100 in the Seasons uh, series that elapsing seasons or whatever it's called. Uh, so that sold for $100. That being said, if you find small vinyl figures like these, and we're gonna come to this one here in a little bit, but if you see them and they're just like a little quirky, a little different, you know, it's not just like you can tell, it's not just like a McDonald's Happy Meal toy, which can be worth money, some of them. Um, then yeah, it's worth looking up. You just check out the bottom. See there's tiny writing on the bottom that tells you the maker. And then you could also do a Google image search on this. Lots of Facebook groups that you can say, hey, you know, I found this, what is this? Like, what's it from? Somebody will help you out, I'm sure. So Pop Mart, again, makes lots of different ones or they distribute them because there's so many varieties. I don't know if they're sourcing and distributing from manufacturers or what, but they're super fun blind box figures that uh, can bring a good profit. Next up is Stife. Stife is a brand that you really need to know if you don't already. They make stuffed animals. They've been around for, I don't even know how long, so long. And they also make little tiny figures and little tiny stuffed animals. So this is a little tiny penguin. I sold a little mallard duck about this size for about the same price. So $36 on this little Stife, but wait, because they get really expensive. Here's a little tiny golden bear Stife, and it sold for $43. You'll be able to tell Stife, oh, it doesn't show it on this picture, but they have a little button in their ear usually. Sometimes they'll still have their little yellow tag on them, but not always, depending on how old they are and how much they were handled. So this one sold for $99. Look at this guy, isn't he adorable? Okay, $179 on this little bulldog. He looks well-loved. But, I mean, who wouldn't love a face like that, right? This is a little rattler dog, tail moves, head moves, sold for $249. So even if they're in this really rough shape, they still sell, they can still sell for a really good profit. And this is a little Stife Swallow that sold for $185. Next is another plush. This is Jelly Cat. Now Jelly Cat is a brand of plush that I like to pick up regular size as well, but they do make tiny, they're called tiny smudge, jelly cat figures or stuffed animals, and they are really, really little. So this is a little monkey that sold for $100. This is a little bunny rabbit, it's kind of turned on its side. You can see the person's hands, you can see it's only like, what would you say, four inches or so, something like that. So this sold for $120. Then here's another little monkey that sold for $100. And here is a little elephant that sold for $100. Now I wanna show you the tag, if it has it on there. So this is what the tag looks like if it's present. So there's a little black cat, it says Jelly Cat, and then London underneath. So that's the Jelly Cat tag to be on the lookout for. So next we're gonna talk about Tokidoki. So it's funny, to, it's fun to say, funny to say Tokidoki. This one looks like a collab with Bear Brick 
I don't know the backstory on this. Bear break is another one that you could be looking out for. They look like bears like this, but they'll have different patterns or art or on, on them. There's small ones like this, like blind bag size or blind box size, but then there are larger bear breaks as well. So if you see these, take a look at them because they can be worth a pretty good profit, depending on the, the artist, the collab or what have you. So Tokidoki, again, this is a collab they did with Hello Kitty. This is Pacho Pachaco. So this is, a, again, a collab with Tokidoki and it's sold for $100. Now this is the Unicorno and it looks like a little unicorn and there's lots of different ones that they make. Again, blind box. So this is one that's got a little carousel on its head that sold for $250. Then there's this one that's got the gold crown on top. It's kind of brown and it sold for $610. And once again, I didn't pull ones that were one-offs. I made sure to pull ones that there were multiple sold of that style. Now this little one that I've got here is probably gonna sell in the $15 range, but I have another one that is a pink transparent one that is listed for $25. That's right where the comps are falling. So even if you find little ones like this, maybe worth $15, maybe $25, maybe $250. Y'all, commit this damn mark to your memory. This is Damn Things, established 1965. If you see it, grab it. So these are vintage Damn Things troll dolls. This one sold for $390. This is a Thomas Damn Things troll that sold for $325. This is a Tico Trolls that sold for $280. Here's another one sold for $179. Now, this is another troll doll. This is the Russ troll doll. So if you see these, they can bring money, but not as readily or as much generally as the damn things, troll dolls. So this is the Christmas tree one that sold for 70. And I'm gonna show you what the, the mark looks like on the Russ troll dolls. So on the bottom of the Russ troll dolls, it'll say Russ. So if you find them, sure, look them up. They're not gonna be generally, from what I looked up, as valuable as the damn things <laughs> troll dolls but again they can be so it's worth checking them out if you find them but yeah keep an eye out for that damn maker's mark so next we're looking at tiny tonka now some of these are made in japan but some are not and i'm going to show you the bottom of the one that's marked for japan this is one that sold for $175. You can even see that it's got a little bit of rust, a little wear on it. it. Looks like it was played with a little bit. Here's a little crane that sold for $77. And another little crane for $103. Here's another one for $109. And the bottom of the Made in Japan Tonka trucks look like this. They're pretty clearly marked Made in Japan. So if you find those, definitely check them out. But there are also some that are just marked Tonka that can bring a good profit as well. Now for our bonus bunch. These are different things just to kind of show you that there's a huge variety. I just gave you a teeny tiny slice of the pie. There is a huge variety of tiny toys out there that are worth money. So these are Hug a Bunch. They're little tiny baby dolls. $142 is what this one sold for. And there were more like this that sold same price range. This is a cause. Now cause, there are some smaller ones, but I really wanted you to commit it to memory because some of them are a little bigger. We have one that's like this big and they, and even bigger ones, they can go for some of them into the thousands of dollars. They're really cool. They have this very, almost like bear-like ears on the side of the head and they'll be dressed differently. Like this is a Boba Fett one. The one we have is like a gold astronaut. So this one sold for $202. This is an Andre the Giant toy, sold for around $200, $230. This one, I mean, this is what I tell you. If you see something that looks so odd that you're like, what in the world is this? Look it up. Because this odd little apple fella, I don't know, sold for $279, but watch. Here's another one, right? $350 on this little sour apple. <laughs> then this is another one. This is like a, I think this is a kid robot because the ears are different sizes. I always get them mixed up because the brick bear bricks kid robot and then they all end up doing collabs so I just like okay it looks like a bear it's got art on it let's look it up this one sold for $349 as you can see they did a collab with an artist to create this bear 
Y'all, pardon my popover on this picture. I didn't realize that was on there. But this is a Kasig lung. I'm not even going to try to say the rest of it. Figure that sold for 380 And there were so many of this particular one that had sold for in the $300 range that it was just crazy. So if you see this little guy, definitely pick it up or something like it. Here's a Godzilla that sold for 428 and then this is another one of these little blind boxes. This one sold for $40. This is a Sunny Angel. And then this is a Sour Lemon. It kind of looks like Stewie to me. Sold for $150. So anything odd or strange or vinyl figures, you know, that not aren't necessarily Happy Meal toys, definitely pick them up. However, some of the Happy Meal toys, especially those uh, ones that they just came out with, the adult Happy Meal toys where they look a little funky, they have two eyes and... Some of those are going crazy on eBay. So if you haven't checked that out yet on Solds, definitely check it out. So if you see them, pick them up. If you enjoy videos like these, I'm going to link a couple videos over here that I think you will really enjoy. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos all about reselling, thrifting, and making money online. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.